Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People! And today we'll be reviewing Transformers Netflix Soundwave with all the cassettes. But first, we're going to look at the packagings before we look at the figures. Transformers War for Cybertron. Trinity. Netflix. Decepticon Soundwave. Transformers. Generations. Netflix. Takara Tomy. Good, nice product shot of Ravage. Laserbeak. And Soundwave is bot mode and cassette mode. And that's all there is to say for that package. And the next package is Rabbat and Frenzy. We got the Frenzy and Rabbat in the house. So yeah, back of the product, you can see the figures themselves. And they can go on other figures' shoulders, which is an option with these figures. But we're going to look at each cassette one by one and put them inside Soundwave. And then transform them. First, we got Laserbeak, one of Soundwave's most loyalist bots. You flip it in like so, and it goes in the chest. That's Laserbeak. Of course, we got a custom buzzsaw, which I did myself. It's not a bad custom buzzsaw, so we're going to put buzzsaw in Soundwave's chest. If we can get him in properly. And that's what it looks like inside Soundwave's chest. It's not an accurate connection, but it's not bad. And of course, we're going to put Rumble, my good old Rumble. There's Rumble in Soundwave's chest. And Frenzy in Soundwave's chest. And he's ready to eject Frenzy. Good old Ravage. And this is based on a cassette design for Ravage, which is nice. I love that about this exclusive. Same, this Rabbat looks good in Soundwave's chest once I get him oriented. That's what it looks like in Soundwave's chest. Now let's get down to transforming these little figures into their bot modes. Flip out the wings, like so. Fold them out. Reveal Rabbat's head. Flip down his toesies. And there we got Rabbat ready to spy on the Autobots. Oh, I love this little bot. Now we're going to transform good old Ravage. And we will bring in the Siege Ravage for comparison because they are exactly similar. Except for a redeco. This is a redeco of that figure a little bit. So, fold it down. Disconnect, fold down. Fold down, flip out the head if I can get it. Come on, head. Come on. Come on. Come on, rabbit head. Come on. Little bit of fussiness with the head. Rotate it down. And like so. We're going to try to get the legs spread out. Come on, legs. Come on. He can be a little bit fussy on these figures. He can be a little bit fussy. Going to have to really... Work out the fussiness with this figure. Fussiness on these little guys are quite frustrating, but I'm not going to let it get the better of me. And this one's a bit tighter than the other one. So, yeah. But there we got Ravage in his little robot mode. And he looks pretty... Ravagey, G1 Ravage. I love that. 
Now we're going to transform the other Ravage and compare him with this new Transformers Ravage. I took my original Siege laser beak and made Buzz Saw, so I don't have original Siege laser beak anymore. All I got is Ravage because I went and turned it in a custom to make a custom character, which was a letdown because they never made us an official one by all standards. By all standards, which was a real letdown for us in the Transformers community. But here is the original Ravage next to the new Netflix Ravage. Well, it's new to me because I haven't picked it up. Now we're going to transform Rumble. Compare him next to Frenzy. Can't beat the Frenzy. <laughs> I love that word. I, I love saying that. Can't beat the Frenzy, Autobots. Rumble, ready to rumble. And these are the exact same transformations. So I'm really good at transforming these entirely. But here is my rumble next to my frenzy. And they look good together. We had the bros of the Decepticon bros Frenzy and Frenzy and Rumble ready to kick some Autobot skin plate last figure we're going to transform is Laserbeak and yeah this is a brand a new Laserbeak for me on this channel because I've never owned the G1 so this is my first my second Laserbeak and I just dropped a piece, so I gotta go grab it. These pieces come off too easy. <sighs> Where'd it go? I swear to God, I dropped pieces more times than I'd like to. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? They're crying out loud. Sorry about this. I gotta look for that. Where did that little piece get off to? I swear to God. Got it. Sorry about that. I had to find that because that piece easily gets lost if you don't keep track of it. Probably wondering, where did it go? Well, it went in the dog cage. I didn't expect it would fall in the dog cage. But there we got Laserbeak in his bird robot mode. And he looks pretty cool and actually G1 accurate. Now we're going to transform the custom buzzsaw and do a comparison with Laser Beak and Buzz Saw together. And this is my first attempt at a custom Buzz Saw because I had to use the Siege Laser Beak to make this figure, given Hasbro just straight up abandoned us and didn't do this character. So I did a custom myself. And there we got Buzz Saw and Laser Beak. And we got all of Soundwave's minions here on the channel. Isn't that great? We finally got all of his minions ready for battle. But now we're going to transform the boss of the Decepticon force. It's Soundwave. We're going to disconnect his guns, his shoulder cannon, his blaster, his other blaster... Yeah, they gave us two blasters here. Disconnect the uh, legs, like so. Fold this up. Fold these panels in. This transformation is pretty simple for a Netflix figure. And quite a little bit similar from Siege, but remastered. 
by all standards. Disconnect, disconnect, rotate, rotate. And yeah, I've memorized this transformation after messing with him for so long, I got the transformation down. Then we're going to pull this back, flip up his head. Oh, and there we got a good looking sound wave so far. Flip out his feet, fold this in. Second verse, just like the first, fold in, flip out the foot, fold in. And there we got Soundwave in his robot mode. And he looks pretty cool. Now for comparison. Here he is next to the first Soundwave I got that was one of the best looking Soundwaves from War for Cybertron Seed. It was good for the time, but I wanted a boombox style sound wave, and now I got this one. I'm still going to like this one because it's still pretty cool, but this one is the better looking sound wave. Hands down, and now we're going to give him his weapons of choice. His ion blaster. Put his ion blaster in his hand. Ready to go pew pew, bang bang with that and give him his trusty sound wave shoulder cannon and go pew 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 with that shoulder cannon blast Autobots. And you can give him this gun as well and you can go eat lead Autobot scum. Wah ah ah ah. Couldn't help the voice. And yeah, he is pretty cool. We'll bring back in Soundwave just to show off the similarities. Well, the body, the chest is similar, but the transformation isn't totally different and remastered with this one. They don't have the same backpack as each other, but they do got the same shoulder cannon and blaster as one another. That's nice, they included that with this and made it in Earth Mode style. I love it. But now for comparison with some other Decepticons. Here we got my first Transformers Siege Megatron. And that's leader Megatron next to Soundwave. And here is Starscream next to Soundwave. Why not? There I say, why not? And finally, with another Netflix figure exclusive, it's Bumblebee. Why not? Posability on this figure is good. You get bend at the knee, he kicks back forward that far, back that far, which is nice. Same with both legs, and I just love it. Arm can do a full 360, which is nice. Head is on a ball joint. Oh, I love that. Arms can go out that far due to the hinge. And I just love the whole level of posability on this figure. If you can find yourself a Netflix sound wave for a good price, pick him up. You won't regret it. And pick up all his minions so you can complete the set. And that's all there is to say for this review. I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed doing this figure because I've wanted this figure for so long and I'm finally glad to have it. This is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.